Okay, so here it is. This is the Pro Mag 20 round drum magazine. It's pretty cool. You can see in the back here, like your shells. It's really easy to load. Uh, this will not work with this gun, which is weird because it's for a Panzer. That's what it even says. And this is a Panzer 10 round mag. It works flawless in this gun. But this drum, <clears throat> it's like $100. It does not work at all. Uh, I modified it. I'm at the end of the video if you want it if you want to see how to how I did it I made like a little video at the end uh, show you how I made this work I'm not sure how good it's gonna work the last shell might jam just because the way it's set up here so I don't know let's just see if it works I really wanted it to the work so I was like one way or another let's see if we get this bad boy to work I mean it just looks so cool with uh you know, 20 rounds in there. Woo. Woo -hoo. Oh, it works. Works good. Shot all 20 there. <laughs> well, that's fun with a 12 gauge. I'm going to do that again. Okay, that was so violent. It actually, like, knocked my green dot, like, <laughs> out of the holder. It worked good, though. So let's try it again. 20 more rounds. Like I said, it just looks so good with that in there. Uh, let me put my earplugs in. It's, it's for two and three quarter inch shells only. No three inch lob, which this gun don't like three inch shells anyway. All right. <laughs> there it is. She doesn't walk back open when it's done, but Hell yeah, it works pretty good. Like I said, if you want this magazine for this gun, watch at the end of this video, and I'll show you how I did it. But uh, I'll bring some more targets out with me, and we'll we'll shoot this some more. I just wanted to see if it's even going to work. But yeah, it looks cool. A bunch of 12-gauge shells everywhere. All right, so this is the the Pro Mag uh, twenty round shotgun drum. So this is for like the Panzer, was it like the nineteen nineteen I think. Uh, so this is the Panzer Mag, which works great in the Silver Eagle. But this Pro Mag, I hate Pro Mag. They they make good AR mags. When it comes to anything else, they absolutely suck. I don't know. I have one for my one pistol. It's pretty good for my Model ninety two. I think. Anyway, uh, I have one for my AR-10. It, it sucks. It doesn't even work. It's a waste of money. I have another one for this gun. This does not work. This does not work for the the Silver Eagle. And I'm going to complain real quick because, like, the company I got it from, like, this thing was, like, $100, so it's expensive. Reach out to them. And they're like, well, you have to contact Pro Mag. It's like, everybody does that nowadays. Like, I have a hot water heater I put in two years ago. It's leaking. You have to, have to contact the company. It's like, we just sell it. We're not responsible for it. Everybody's doing that nowadays. That's going to be the new trend coming up. Uh, you got to contact. We just sell it. We're not responsible. It's amazing. Anyway, I was like, you know what? F it. I'm going to make this thing work. I don't even care. I was like, I, I know I can make this thing work. Uh, it, it's actually a really s kind of simple, stupid thing. So you can see this follower. I'll show you real quick. It's all about this the follower they have in here. It fits good. Fits in a gun good. I'm trying to get the camera here. So I'll show you exactly what's happening. It's a little tight. Uh, let's see if I can get it in there. I think it's easier when the bolt's open. Hold on one sec. Okay. It's a little bit easier when the bolt's open. Okay, it fits in there good anyway, but it won't. I'll show you what exactly is happening. Especially when it has more shells in it, it won't even do that. Or when it's empty. Yeah, I don't know if you can see. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to do this. There's a big old dent in there. I'll show you exactly what's happening. 
But if it's empty, let me set that down. I'll take this out. You can even see right there. Okay. So, let's see if we flip it around here. I don't know. See that right there? Yeah. So that on the bolt, that grips the back of your brass and pushes it into the the chamber. So that's what's hitting. So why is it doing that? It's because the angle on this follower here is too steep. The back's good. Everything's good. It's kind of hard to tell. But you can see it's just a little too steep there. So what I'm going to do, got my drum tools out here. I'm just going to file this down a little bit. Like there's two, two followers in there. So I can grind that down, grind the bottom, maybe that one there too. I mean, worst case scenario, I can take this off and put like a dowel in there and use that. Have to be careful though, because you don't want to, if you get it down too far, then your bullet won't slide into the chamber, right? So, yeah, I figured, screw it, try it. Finally got it, brother. Fits in there nice. The last one, it seems to do that. Uh, I'm okay with that, because I'll show you why I had to take so much off because it's still hitting there. It kind of throws the angle off. So like I said, I'm okay with that. Because uh, it needs to actually push this up probably. If I pry this up, it'll go up. Yeah, so. So it's a 19 round drum now. But I'm okay with that because it still looks cool in this gun. But I, was, I might be able to tweak it a little bit. It's super hard because you have to take so much off that in order to get it to even work. I mean, it's right on a point where it's still hitting there a little bit, and it's at the last one there, it doesn't have enough material there to kick that up into the cylinder. So I might try to tweak it. If it works on 19, I'm, I'm cool with that. One thing I will give Pro Mag credit for is their plastic's incredibly awesome. So I had to shave a bunch down here, and then when that happened, it kicked the rear end up, so I had to shave just a little bit. Don't take very much off back here. And then I had to lift that up, take some more material off there to get this front end down. So when the shell's in there, like on the last one, it's perfect. But then as soon as you guys shove it in, it doesn't have that, this needs like a little bit, but if it's too much, and then that piece on that bolt hits it there. So, I don't know. I'll take it out and I'll try it. And maybe I'll try to tweak it a little bit more. See how she works. 